In this tutorial, I'm going to find the incidence and adjacency matrix of the graph which has uh, five vertices and eight edges of the graph which is appearing on the screen there. When you are looking at uh, the incidence matrix, it is an N by M matrix D which has elements Dij where the Dij is equal to 1 if Vi is an end vertex of uh, edge Ej and it is uh, 0 otherwise. So in this case, we are having five vertices. So our matrix there would have five rows and uh, we'll be having V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. We are having eight edges. So our matrix would have eight columns, E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7, and E8. I'll look at uh, vertex V1 there. We see that a vertex V1 is an end vertex for the edges E1, E5, E6, and E7. So in our matrix, we would have ones where we have the E1, the E5, E6, and E7. On the other elements, we'll be having zeros, both that what the definition says. I now move on to vertex V2. We see that vertex V2 there is an end vertex for the edges E1 and E2. So we have ones where we have E1 and E2 and uh, zeros otherwise. So I put zeros on all the other positions. I now move on to the next vertex V3. V3 we see that is an end vertex for the edges E2, E3, E7 and E8. So we have ones where we have E2, E3, E7, and E8. On the other positions, we are putting zeros. I now move on to vertex V4. V4 there is uh, an end vertex for the edges E3, E4, E6, and uh, E8. So we have ones where we have uh, E3, E4, E6, and E8. On all of the other positions, we would have zeros. And lastly, we'll be looking at uh, vertex V5. Vertex V5 is uh, an end vertex for the edges E4 and E5. So we have uh, ones where we have E4 and E5. On all the other elements, we are having zeros. So what we are having there, that 5 by 8 matrix there, that is our incidence matrix for the graph which is appearing on the left there. I will now move on to the adjacency matrix. The adjacency matrix is an n by n matrix D with the elements Dij, where n is the number of vertices and Dij is the number of edges between Vi and Vj. In this case, we are having a five vertices, so we'll be having a five by five matrix is our adjacency matrix. So on the rows, we are having the vertices V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5. And on the columns, again, V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5, since we are saying it's an N by N matrix. So I will now go on and look at a vertex of V1 there. And when you are looking at a vertex of V1, we are saying how many edges are there between vertex V1 and V1. An edge between a vertex V1 and V1, we are saying is there a loop between V1 and V1. There is no loop there. So in this case, for V1, V1 will put a zero there in the matrix. We now move on to the next step, looking at our vertices V1 and V2. Between V1 and V2, we look at the number of edges there. We only have one edge, which is E1. So in our matrix there, where we have a V1, a V2, we are putting a 1. But when you are looking at edges between V1 and V2, those are the same edges between V2 and V1. So in our matrix, again, where we have V2, V1 there, we should put a 1. Both it will be that same edge again, E1. I now move on to look at uh, vertices uh, V1 and V3. 
for vertices V1 and V3, we just have one edge there, which is E7. So where we have V1, V3, we are having one edge there, so we put a 1. And when we look at um, V1, V3, that's the same number of edges between V3 and V1. So where we have a V3, V1 again, we'll put that same one, since we are saying it's one edge between those uh, vertices that are highlighted. I now move on to the next one. We are looking at the edge, the vertices of V1 and V4. For V1 and V4, the number of edges there, we just have edge 6. So it's a 1. So V1, V4, we put a 1. And when you look at V1, V4, that's the same number of edges again between V4 and V1. So on V4, V1, we have to put a 1 there. I now move on to the next one where we look at the vertices of V1 and V5. V1 and V5, we are just having the edge E5, just one edge. So the number of edges there is the 1. So on V1, V5, we are having a 1. V1, V5 is the same number of edges between V5 and V1. So in our matrix where we have V5, V1, we also have a 1 there because we are saying the number of edges between V5 and V1 is a 1. I now move on to the next one. We are looking at a V2. We are saying how many edges are there from V2 to V2. We don't have a loop there. So V2, V2 will be a 0. I now move on to the next one. Vertices V2 and V3. The number of edges there, we are just having the edge E2. So the number there is a 1. Between V2 and V3, so we put a 1. And that number again is the same when you are looking at a V3, V2. Both is uh, that same edge again, E2. So we put a 1 where we have a V3, V2. So I put the 1 there. And I move on to the next where we look at uh, vertices of V2 and V4. For vertices of V2 and uh, V4 there, we don't have any edges, so we have a 0. And we are saying between V2 and V4, no edges, so there are no edges again between V4 and uh, V2. So we put a 0 on V4 or V2. We move on to the next one. Vertices V2 and V5. We don't have any edges between V2 and V5. So the number of edges there is a 0. So on V2, V5, we put a 0. And this is the same number of edges between V5 and V2. So we put a 0 again on V5 and V2. So we have a 0 there. And I move on to the next one, V3. We don't have a loop there on the edge V3. So the number of edges between V3 and V3 is a 0. So on V3, V3, we put a 0. We move on to the next one, where we look at our vertices V3 and V4. We are having two edges there, E3 and E8. So put the number of edges there is 2. Number of edges between V3 and V4 is a 2. And that's the same number of edges between V4 and V3. So V4, V3 will put a 2 as well. We'll move on to the next one. Vertices V3 and V5. For vertices V3 and V5 there, we don't have any edges. So we'll put a 0. So V5, V3, V5. It's the same number of edges again with a V5, V3. So on V5, V3, we don't have any edges there. So put a 0 there on V5, V3. I now move on to the next when you are looking at a V4. V4, we are saying do we have an edge between V4 and V4. There is no loop there. So put a 0 on V4, V4. Put a 0. And then we'll move on to the next one, V4 and V5. V4 and V5, we are having an edge E4. It's a 1. So on V4, V5, in our matrix there, 
the number of edges is a one, so put a one there. And uh, that same number there is the number of edges between V5 and V4. So in our matrix, we have V5, V4, we'll put a one there. And uh, lastly, I'll look at uh, the vertex V5. For that vertex V5, we are saying, do we have any edges between V5 and V5? We don't have any, there's no loop there. So the number of edges between V5 and V5, it's a zero. So on V5, V5 in our matrix, we put a zero there. So what we are having there, that five by five matrix with the elements indicated there, and that's the adjacency matrix for the graph which is appearing on the left there.